My name is John. It was that time of year again. Leaves are changing colors. They're falling off the trees and you're in a market for a new hand blower. What I have here is the Echo E-Force DPB 2500 battery powered hand blower. This is their commercial model. And this is the Steel SH86C. This is their professional two cycle hand blower. This is a Steel SH86C. This has all the bells and whistles. It's vibration dampened. You know, it has all this movement so you don't get that transmission of vibration to the hand. The trigger assembly has a throttle control. You can lock it, it's variable at any position, and you just press down and it turns it off. And it resets to on so it's easy to start back up the next time. You don't have to worry about pulling it 100 times while you head in the off position. Pull start, super simple, easy to pull. It has a nice soft spring in it, super easy to start. Gas cap, three quarters of a turn, opens up. Translucent tank, you can easily see the two cycle fuel inside. Choke assembly. When you turn it on and you're ready to turn the choke off, you just pull the trigger, goes back to neutral. It also has a shredding feature. You open the side cover, has a shredding knife on the inside. You put the vacuum hose on here. You remove this front hose and you put the bag on and you can hold it like this and vacuum up leaves. Overall, this is really a great hand blower, extended life. Really, if you want the best hand blower in a two cycle configuration, this is it. This is the Echo E-Force DPB 2500. This is their commercial line of hand blower. It's the X-Series. One of the great things about this E-Force over the gas powered is you don't have to pull the cord to start it. If you're the type of person where you don't want to get involved with anything, you don't want to have to go to the dealership to have your blower serviced, and you just want to pick it up and use it, that's where the E-Force really comes into play. All you have to do, install the battery, and you just pick it up, pull the trigger, and it's running. You don't have to do anything else. And then if you want to store this, hit the button right here in the front. The front tube comes off and now it's a small package you can just put away. Now let me show you the different steps to start both of these blowers. This is gonna be a little comical because the battery power has no steps and the gas power has a bunch. So to start the E-Force up, if it's already assembled and you put the battery in, all you do is pull the trigger and now it's running. That's all you have to do. Uh, you get 12 minutes of run time from the E-Force with the two and a half amp hour battery, about 24 minutes with the big battery, five amp hour. To start the hand blower, you make sure you have fuel in the tank, 50 to one mix, set the choke, purge the carburetor, on and off switch, make, this in, make sure this is on. And all you do here is pull the cord and it starts. One thing to mention about both these blowers is how the air coming out of the blower torques the blower. So if you never ran a hand blower, they're very rough on your wrist because when you pull the trigger, they like to torque to whatever direction the motor is spinning in. So when you pull the trigger, that fan that's propelling the air torques to the right or left. So when you pull the trigger, you got, a, you got this constant wrist thing where you're holding it straight, fighting it. With the E-Force, the torque on this is straight line. It's front to back. So it's always a rearward shove. Let me show you. It's always going rearward. It doesn't torque. It's nice, straight line, comfortable power. The steel, on the other hand, what they've done to sort of solve that torque problem, because this does have the fan on the side. It doesn't have the turbine style like the E-Force does, where it's actually a turbine fan. This is the fans on the side, so it creates that torque effect, making it want to twist. What they've done is they put a device in the tube that sort of directs the airflow in a certain way to sort of prevent that torque from happening. But let me show you anyways the torque effect that the steel has that the Echo does not. You don't really notice it, until you turn your arm a certain way and then it'll start doing the torque effect. Let me show you. Keep in mind, I'm not turning this. This is doing it by itself. If you're not gripping this tight, 
it does have that torque effect. It's not terrible like some other cheap models, like I said, but it does do the torque effect. But that being said, now let me take you out and show you how well both of these blowers do at pushing piles and just moving leaves around the yard. If you found any benefit to this video, please consider subscribing and thanks for watching. So what I have here is a really nice layer of leaves here. And this is from a maple tree. The tree is virtually empty. It's got some popular leaves here. It's actually a good amount of leaves, then they're kind of wet. So this is gonna be a real test for both of these blowers. I'm gonna run the Steel 86C first, and then I'll run the E-Force. And you can really gauge for yourself how well both of these hand blowers do and whether you wanna stick with the gas power or go with the battery power. Let me show you. As you can see with the steel 86C, works extremely well even on these wet leaves. With the Echo E-Force, it has the standard variable throttle along with the turbo button. So I'll include the turbo button in this pass. I'll do the standard full throttle and then you'll hear me click on the turbo button to get that extra performance. As you can see, the E-Force does a great job as well. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna blow this heavier section of leaves. I didn't really feel like I had enough leaves over here to really give a great comparison. So this has some of the leaves that are blown over here by the steel and the remainder of the wet leaves that fell off this tree. Here's the Echo E-Force DPB 2500. And now I'm gonna run it with the turbo button on. So you can decide for yourself which blower you want to buy. A easy to use battery power hand blower that has plenty of power or the really high quality two cycle commercial SH86C. If you found any benefit to this video, please consider subscribing and thanks for watching.